partly cloudy skies tonight along the coast. The lows are around 54 and a daytime high tomorrow forecast of 81 degrees under clear skies. With absolutely no chance of rain, you can expect your weekend to be clear and sunny. In regional news, almond growers in the Central Valley will air their grievances Friday in a special town meeting where representatives of the Resources Board will be present to discuss the state water rationing plan. The mayor has announced that she will not be... Will you just leave me alone? You told me you weren't going to be home. It's none of your business where I am or what I'm doing now. Stop calling me or else I'm calling the police. It's me. You're safe. Thomas. I don't think there's anything left to say except congratulations, partner. Partner? Are you serious? I'm as serious as a heart attack. As serious as I was when I asked you to close a deal on the Mill Road shopping mall. Well, that was a joint effort, Ed. I just ran point. Modesty is no virtue, Alice, not here. And besides, I spoke with Dean Blackline, the CEO of Broadway Development, and he said he's never worked with anyone who understood the deal parameters as well as you do. And believe me, I know the zoning laws are Byzantine. I'm just glad it all worked out. And I'm really glad to have made partner. I won't let you down. I'm sure of that. <laughs> I'll send out the official announcement tomorrow. For now, you have one job. It's a big one, though. <sighs> Celebrate. I'm so proud of you, Alice. Proud and jealous. Your time is coming, Janie. Mark my words. You are the youngest partner in this firm's history. Do you know that? I just got assigned to a good deal. That's all. It was only a good deal because of the work that you did. I heard Ed talking to Ashton Bradley. Nobody thought that Mill Road was salvageable. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, B.S. When you work 60-hour weeks, there's a way. I'm just glad the board finally realized how valuable you are to the firm. It's your no, time. It's our time, Janie. Our time. How about we head out? I'll buy you a real <laughs> drink. Rain check. I have a date with my bed. Now that that deal's closed, I have to catch up on some sleep, Janie. Oh, come on, just one drink. Maybe you'll find yourself a real date? Oh, I am doing just fine in that department. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah? When was the last time you went out with someone? Um, I had drinks with Saul Miller on Monday night. Saul Miller is your colleague. He is also 72 years old and happily married with four kids. <laughs> Okay, fine. Well, there's plenty of time for dating in the future. Yeah, but Valentine's Day is coming up. What? You promise not to judge me? No. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What is this? 
Be My Valentine? It's an app. I can see that. It's for busy professionals. Well, you certainly fit the bill. <laughs> Enjoy the holiday year round on Be My Valentine. They just launched. I'm sure they did it before the holiday, you know, all the free publicity. Oh my God. But you look at some of these guys. Yeah, I know. This one is gorgeous. I'm going to shoot my arrow at this one. No, don't. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Janie, I'm serious. Oh. You jerk. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get out of here. Oh. Oh. He shot me back. What? The guy from the app? The one that you contacted? He shot an arrow back. It means he's interested. No way. So what are you gonna do about it? Nothing, obviously. What do you mean, nothing? I mean nothing. I told you not to do it. Alice, why would you download that app if you're not gonna take it seriously? Hey, I am taking it seriously, but on my own time. When I find someone I think is compatible, I'll reach out. What difference does it make? He's not gonna know it was me. Yeah, but I know. Alice, maybe your eyes have gone bad from looking at contracts for so long, but that guy was gorgeous. I'll think about it, okay? Okay, bye. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, testing. Hi, my name is Jason Monroe. My name is Jason Monroe. I grew up in a small town near Black Island. I graduated college with a degree in political science. I traveled abroad for a year, wasting time in Europe. Once I decided I wanted to be a lawyer, I was torn between business law and something a little more altruistic. Is that him? <gasps> Don't sneak up on me like that. I hardly snuck up. I was watching for a few minutes. <sighs> so, where are you meeting him? Meadowlark. What? Is that not a good place? As good as anywhere else. So then why are you giving me that look? Are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> are you serious right now? <sighs> Jamie, you're the one who started all of this. As a joke, I never thought it would get this far. What do you mean, this so far? We haven't even met yet. I know, but... I mean, you looked him up, right? <laughs> of course I did. And? And he didn't use a filter on his profile picture. <laughs> he looks just as good everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I should go with you. Where? On my date? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think showing up with a chaperone might be a deal breaker. I would just hide out in the back. He wouldn't even have to know. <laughs> now, Janie, I know it's been a while, but I have been on a date before. <laughs> We'll be in a public place. Nothing's gonna happen that I can't handle. Fine. But you call me. You call me if anything doesn't feel right. I'll be fine. Just take this. What is this? Pepper spray. I am never without it. You can never be too careful. Thanks. But no, I'm going on a date, not off to war.
Alice? How do you know my name? Uh, because I I'm Jason. I'm sorry, I don't mean to disappoint you. No, no, it, it, it's not that. I... You don't look anything like your photo. Well, that's because it's not my picture. So who is it? It's my roommate. Uh, his name is Jason Monroe, and that's why when you looked him up, which I'm, I'm sure you did, similar photos came up. So who are you? Chris Williams. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're angry with me, aren't you? Well, do you blame me? I mean, you got me here under false pretenses. False pretenses. You really are a lawyer, aren't you? And you're not. But Jason is, right? Yeah, well, he's not only better looking, but he's also a lot more successful, I'm afraid. Oh. So what do you do? What do I, for work? Mm -hmm. What do I do? Uh, well, um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> Right now, I'm in between jobs. I don't understand. Why not just use your own photo? I mean, if you were me, wouldn't you rather look like Jason? But I mean, somebody like you, you've probably never been told you're anything but beautiful, right? It was all a lie. <laughs> What woman in her right mind would go out with you after learning the truth? You mean what I look like? No, about how you're not who you said you were. Well, an understanding woman, I would hope. I'm sorry, Chris, but I really feel played. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Hey, no, hold on. Let me buy another drink, okay? It's the least I can do. Let me make it up to you. I think not. Chris, you actually seem like you might be a decent guy. So can I give you a bit of advice? Mm -hmm. Problem isn't your looks. You're handsome. It's your judgment. If you ever hope to get a woman, don't ever try this again. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's almost Valentine's Day. You're not gonna believe what just happened. And as I was leaving, he reminded me that Valentine's Day is coming up. That is so incredibly weird. I know, you think? So, what are you gonna do? What do you mean, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything. Mm, maybe report him to the app? Maybe there's a way you could warn other users? I think at this point, I just wanna forget about him. You know, pretend this whole thing never happened. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh my God. What? It's a text from him. What does it say? You will be my Valentine. Come on in. These are for you. A little Valentine's Day gift. Except I'm single. Who are they from? I don't know. Do they leave a card or anything? Not that I can see. Are you sure they're for me? Well, the delivery guy did say Alice Miles. That's you. Hmm. Well, thank you, Paulina. <laughs> Ella smiles. Do you like him? Who is this? Alice, I'm a little insulted. Did you send these to me, Chris? Of course. 
There wasn't a card. Well, I didn't think a card would be necessary. Who else would they be from? Chris, the flowers are lovely, thank you. But as I told you before, I don't want to see you again. Because I misrepresented myself. That's right. Well, just give me a chance to show you the real me. Chris, we're done. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me take you to an early dinner, right? For Chino's, for Valentine's Day. You won't regret it. Are you okay? I'm fine. Fine. Chris, I gotta go. Don't call me on this line ever again. Who was that? That is what happens when you let your best friend play matchmaker. Happy Valentine's Day, sir. Uh, Mr. Williams, I have a reservation for the Valentine's Day package. Of course. You're the first person in your party to arrive. Okay, here we go. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. This is so much better than a date. Valentine's Day. Psh, who needs it? Showering, getting dressed up, putting makeup on. What a drag. Tell me about it. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. May I open that for you, sir? I'm still waiting on somebody. Thank you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Who would be calling on Valentine's Day? Probably the office. <laughs> Even Ed is taking his wife out. It's Chris, the guy from the app. The catfisher? Would you quit calling him that? <laughs> it is so weird. Well, that's what they're called. I thought you told him that you didn't want to see him again. Yeah, I did, twice. Well, clearly he didn't get the message. You're gonna answer it? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, thank God. Didn't he send you flowers to the office too? Yeah, don't remind me. Roses, I hate <sighs> roses. He left a voice message. <laughs> Hi, Alice. It's Chris. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, listen, I don't mean to disturb you. I know it takes women a long time to get ready, but um, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't need any help finding the restaurant. Um, been here an hour. But that's OK. I, I don't want you to rush. Uh, I know the anticipation makes things that much more special. So I'll see you soon. Can't wait. What the hell was that? Oh. Was that a joke? I don't think so. What was he talking about? I... Oh. You know, he did mention to me when he called today about taking me to Forcino's for Valentine's Day. <laughs> did you agree to it? No, no way. Well, then why is he there? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Do you think I should call him back? What for? Oh, I, I feel kind of bad. He's just sitting there. I mean, I don't want to be cruel. Unless you told him that you were going to meet him there, you don't owe him an explanation. It's his problem that he's sitting there waiting for you. Yeah, but I... You're right. You know what? Let's have another drink. Please. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Are you sure I can't open that for you, sir? How about a cocktail? What part of I'm waiting for someone didn't you understand? I, I'm terribly sorry, sir. It's just that you've been waiting here for over an hour. Is that a problem? Well, it is Valentine's Day, and there is other couples that need to be seated. Stop riding me, man. That's what I was saying. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Him again? 
Should I just answer this and tell him never to contact me again? I don't know. Thank goodness. Probably gave up. That freak. <sighs> just Elliot. There's nothing he could say that you would want to hear. I have to listen. <laughs> I wasn't nice, Alice. I don't appreciate being stood up, especially on Valentine's Day. I sat there, I sat there and waited for you until the waiter asked me to leave. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Can you imagine what those people must think of me? But of course, I forgive you. So, just give me a call back and we can reschedule for later. After all, Valentine's Day isn't over yet. Call me back. Okay. That was officially nuts. If I were you, I would call the police. And say what? I mean, that wasn't really harassment. Yeah, it was crazy, but it wasn't harassment. What would you call it? I don't know. I'm delusional? What about the threat? What threat? The implied threat. Oh, come on, Janie. You're a lawyer. Even the most vigilant cop isn't going to follow up on that. Yeah, you're probably right. And the worst part of it is, if someone doesn't know the whole story and they just listen to these voice messages, they're going to think that I'm in the wrong. So then what are you going to do? I'll tell you the first thing I'm going to do. There. He's blocked. Good. I still think you should call the cops. Cheney, Not because told you. they're going to do something. Just, you know, so they have a record in case. What? <sighs> Nothing. What, Janie? In case things escalate? You don't think this is over? I don't know. Ed wants to see you. Why? He didn't say. He just said, send you to his office. You wanted to see me, Ed? Yes, Alice. <clears throat> You've been keeping something from me. Ta-da! <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh. <laughs> Where were you hiding this guy? And the Bayside Brawlers fan to boot. What? The Bayside Brawlers. It's tough to find a minor league baseball fan in this city. I can't believe you never told me about Ed. You know how obsessed I am with minor league ball. Oh, I guess it just slipped my mind. Look, I don't want to keep you two. Were you on your way to lunch? Yes. No. Uh, next homestand? Game's on me, Ed. You can count on it, pal. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? You should be thanking me. Thanking you? I have your boss hitting out of the palm of my hand. Can you imagine what that could do for your career? I'm a partner at this law firm. I don't need you currying favor with Ed Stein in order to... <sighs> Why are you doing this? Why did you tell him that we're dating? Well, we just started talking. I mean, what do you want me to say? Yeah, but we're not dating. I told you that I never wanted to see you again. Oh, my God. Your parents? Don't touch that. Are they nice people? Look, Chris, what do I have to do to make you understand that I never want to see you again? You could answer one question for me. Okay, what? Why'd you stand me up for our date? What date? 
at Forcino's for Valentine's Day. I never said that I was going to meet you at Forcino's for Valentine's Day, or any other day for that matter. Yes, you did. I asked you, and you said fine. <sighs> Can we, we start over? I mean, we obviously have a, a great rapport, right? You already said I was handsome. Your boss loves me. You can't be serious. Why not? Listen, Chris. I'm going to tell you one more time just to make sure there's no misunderstanding whatsoever. All right? Okay. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Don't contact me at all. I never want to see or hear from you ever again. You don't mean that. And if you try, I'll call the police. Can you do that? Do what? Contact the police. Of course I can. I know that you can. But what would they do? I'll get a restraining order against you. And if you come near me, they'll throw your ass in jail. Well, you see, to do that, you have to show persistent and willful harassment. I looked it up. Uh, your two o'clock is here? Call me. Okay? <sighs> Bye. Have a good day. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I'm sorry, you don't have a two o'clock. I just figured it was getting... I figured you could use it. I appreciate that. Who was that? If you ever see that guy again, you let me know right away. And if a Chris calls for me, tell him I'm out of the office forever. Got it. Thanks, Paulina. He's either a moron or a sociopath. Well, let's hope he's a moron. We deal with those every day. I'm serious, Janie. I am too. I'm the one that told you to go to the police. Oh, you should have seen Ed. It was like he had found his long lost son. You said he was talking to Ed about the brawlers, right? Yeah, so? Well, there you go. I mean, Ed would talk to the opposing counsel if it were about the brawlers. You knew that about Ed? Of course. Other than work, it's all he talks about. It's like he lives for that stupid team. I think he had a minority stake in it once. But still, it was really weird. What was that? Doorbell. Did you order delivery? No. Hmm. Just ignore it. What if it's him? He doesn't know where you live. It's not hard to find out, Janie. Don't answer it. You know what? I just want to see. I'll call you back. Okay, call me back. gave me a heart attack. You didn't call me back. I was worried. Sorry. So? Who was it? It was nobody. It was a bag of food from Forcino's. The note. I thought you said you didn't order delivery. 
I didn't. But I think you were right. I need to go to the police. A late Valentine's Day date is better than none at all. Hmm. Well, not particularly poetic, but then again, my husband wouldn't know our anniversary if I held my gun to his head. <laughs> but still, don't you think it's totally inappropriate? I mean, given everything that I told you. Mm, of course, of course I do. But inappropriate isn't illegal. Yeah, but he lied about everything. I mean, who he was, where he worked. And he didn't just lie. He stole someone else's identity, their image, all their personal information, everything. I know. You told me all of this, but it only becomes illegal if he uses this deception to deceive you. That's for, exactly what he did. Or financial or any other type of gain. He hasn't tried to extort you. He hasn't tried to steal anything or use his fake ID to obtain anything. A date. If we lock up every man who lied about himself to get a date, there wouldn't be anyone walking the streets. But this goes beyond just a little white lie, don't you think? Not in the eyes of the law. So what do you suggest I do then? Well, you can file a restraining order. Will that help? Probably not. Look, Miss Miles, you're a lawyer, so I feel like I can be honest with you. Restraining orders are only as good as the people who follow them. What do you mean? They're a piece of paper, a tool. They can't prevent someone from contacting you. Well, yeah, but if he violates the order of protection, you can arrest him, right? In theory. What's that supposed to mean? What kind of lawyer are you? Real estate. Let me give you some insight into criminal law. These kinds of cases are notoriously hard to prosecute, especially when no violence has been committed. Now, I'm not saying that it is right. I'm saying that's what it is. Well, my professional opinion, this guy sounds more like a loser than a threat. What if you're wrong? The law sucks. You know that better than anyone. <laughs> so you want to file the paperwork to get the restraining order? What's the point? Look, Miss Miles, I didn't mean to discourage you. I really didn't. It's just the reality of what it is. It's okay. I understand. Now, if he does anything else other than just be a nuisance, you call me. And if at any time you want to file those orders of protection, hmm. that's your right, too. Okay. Thanks, Detective. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. got the evite. What evite? To your parents' barbecue? Oh, that's right. Are you going? Of course. Your mom has been posting the menu on social media for the past week. Oh my god. That's because my dad cannot wait to try out his new grill on an impartial audience. <laughs> I swear, he's like a little kid with a new toy. Mm. Free ribs? I'd be there even if I wasn't your best friend. I appreciate that, even though I do know you have ulterior motives. <laughs> you need to see this. So, remember you told me to be aware when Chris tried to call for you again? Mm-hmm. Well, he didn't call, but he did try to friend me. You didn't accept, did you? Of course not. But I did look at his profile, well, without full access anyway, and look. Oh my God. Alice, that's you. No, no, that's not me. It is. It's a deep fake. A, a what? A deep fake. It's Alice's face on someone else's body. There's software that makes that possible now, as long as you know what you're doing. That's gotta be illegal. It's not illegal either. How do you know all this, Paulina? Uh, Carol, maybe do research for whatever cases. Apparently, these deep fakes are huge issue with celebrities. People would try to make them perform in adult films. And every time they take it to court, 
they ruled it as a First Amendment issue. So this guy can just pretend to be my boyfriend, or worse. I'll feel better when I can get out of the city. That's what fresh air will do for you. No, that's what getting away from Chris will do for you. Just try to enjoy yourself today. Don't even think about him. What I keep thinking about are those pictures. They're on his page, not yours. No one you know will ever see them. Yeah, but just knowing that they're out there. I hate to say this, but someone could print your picture out from the web and paste it in the centerfold. And you would never know, and there's nothing you could do. This is a lot different, Janie. You know that. Yeah. Just trying to make you feel better. I'll feel better when I can get my dad's ribs in me. You remember how to get there? No, but I have my GPS. All right, well, I'm leaving now, so I'll meet you there. Okay, see ya. Bye. Hi, Mom. Hi. Sorry you didn't bring anything. Oh, well, you know your father. He just wants everybody to eat the ribs, so... Last thing we need is another pasta salad. My little girl. Oh, how are you, Dad? My daughter just made partner. How do you think I am? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, really. No, you bet it is. We are so proud of you, honey. And so is your friend. No, but Jane isn't here yet, is she? No, your gentleman friend. Why are you so secretive about this stuff all the time? He's a lovely guy. Yeah, he knows his way around the grill, too. Mm-hmm. You spoke to him? Well, yeah, he was the first person here. No, yeah, we spoke to him for a while. He's right in there. Um, can you guys excuse me for a minute? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just want to talk to Chris. And I didn't think he'd get here so soon. Yeah, yeah. go, go, go. You never told me your parents had a wine cellar. Just what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, attending a nice family barbecue. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you're about to be embarrassed in front of my parents. Well, I'm not the one who's going to be embarrassed, Alice. Think about it. How did you find out about this anyway? Your mom's social media page. We're friends now. <laughs> she just shared a recipe for banana bread with me. Chris, do not test me. You're the one who's getting so upset. What did you think was going to happen? You're just going to show up here and pretend to be my boyfriend and I was just going to accept it? Well, you could either choose to enjoy the day or you could throw me out and have some explaining to do to your family. Or I can call the police and have them drag your ass out of here. For what? Trespassing. Well, you see, uh, legally it's not your house. It's your parents. They'd have to do it. And you're not sure that they would, are you? Well, it's okay. Neither am I. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, hi. Hi. What's going on? Well, we are really not sure. Chris, are you all right? Um, yes. Just one second. Okay. Jane, right? I've heard so much about you. You haven't heard anything about her because I haven't told you anything about her. What's uh, going on? Uh, this lunatic just showed up here. He's been talking to my parents. How would you like me to call the police right now? Please, do, do we have to go through this again? What do you want, huh? Just please tell me. Why are you doing this? Well, I just want us to enjoy ourselves. I mean, look at it out there. It's a perfect day for a barbecue. <laughs> and what do you expect me to tell my parents? That we're dating? Well, I don't want you to put words in your mouth, but uh, you tell them whatever you feel is appropriate. <sighs> if I agree to go out with you, will you leave? Well, can we eat first? Look, I'm starving, and the way your dad was talking about those ribs, I don't think I could forget myself if I didn't at least try them. <laughs> no. You need to leave now. If you leave, too. What? If you leave, too. 
we leave together. I'm not gonna have you throw me out of here and refuse to see me again. All right, what kind of fool do you think I am? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Hope you're hungry. We're gonna get going. What? You literally just cut here, Alice. I know. I'm so sorry. I... The truth is, I, I just haven't been feeling that great. You do look a little pale. Yeah, I've been fighting off this bug the last few days. Well, why don't you just sit down and I'll bring you some tea? Oh, no, Mom. It's okay. I don't want you to worry. Well, worrying is our job. No, it's fine, Mom. Really. I just shouldn't have come, but... I didn't want to let you down. Well, I have an idea. If you feel better tomorrow after you've rested, just come back. We'll have leftovers. Okay, I will. And I'll make sure she gets some rest, okay? I wish we could stay longer, but Susan, it was so nice meeting you. Another time, Bill? I promise. Maybe then you can try my chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, why don't you let Chris drive you home? You can leave your car here. That is an excellent <sighs> idea, Bill. Alice, what do you think? Oh, um... I think that would be more trouble than it's really worth. <laughs> I guess I just needed rest today instead of Dad's ribs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I'll call you guys later. Okay, we'll feel better, sweetheart. Right. Mm. Bye, Jane. Nice to meet you, Chris. You too. Follow me, okay? Okay. Mm. What's the holdup? I'm going right to the police station. I'll follow you. You lied to me. Go to hell, Chris. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna file a restraining order against you, and if you ever come near me again, the police are going to throw your ass in jail. You're making a mistake, Alice. We'll see about that. Loser. So now what? A judge has to approve the restraining order. How long does that take? It depends, but I can have it fast track. Shouldn't take more than a day. Oh, thank you so much, Detective. Once it's signed, an officer will serve him with the restraining order. He will be ordered to stay 100 yards away from you at all times and will be forbidden from trying to contact you. And what if he doesn't listen? He'll go to jail. I almost hope he doesn't. I would love to see that freak locked up. He doesn't have to be tried first. Oh, he will be, but... But that could take weeks, months. During that time, he'll be kept in jail. That's the point of the order. Look, I understand why you're upset. From what you told me, this man clearly is an unstable person, but even unstable people can get the message. After all, he doesn't want to go to jail. So what do I do if he tries to contact me or if he comes near me? You contact us right away. You call the station at that number I gave you. Give the officer your case number. We'll come out immediately. Oh, thank you, detective. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I've had to deal with protective orders more times than I can count. And in 99% of the cases after the person is served, it acts as a wake-up call. Hmm. What about the other 1%? Hang in there. Everything will be fine. Thanks for letting me stay over. Of course. What kind of friend would I be if I sent you out there with that maniac? Still. And... If I'm being honest, I do feel a little guilty. Guilty? About what? I'm the one that initiated contact on that app. Jane, don't be silly. There's no way you could have known what was going to happen. 
Nobody could have. They need screenings for that app. You're telling me. Janie, do you think that what Detective Graham said was right? You know, about the restraining order scaring him off? I think so. She's been doing this for a long time. If they really thought you were in danger, they'd be watching you around the clock. Yeah, you're probably right. That's the last thing I need is somebody else watching me. <laughs> wrong all my tires slashed Chris obviously let's get to the office we can call the police from there Ooh. detective Amy Graham detective Graham it's Alice Miles Miss Miles I was just about to reach out to you this morning I went outside and I Wait, what? I said I was just about to reach out to you. Why? Well, uh, we attempted to serve Mr. Williams with the uh, order of protection, but we can't find him. What do you mean you can't find him? His address on record, the one um, on his license and registration, well, he's no longer living there. I spoke to his roommate, Mr. Jason Monroe. He said Chris Williams had moved out weeks ago. Doesn't know where he's going to. Quite frankly, we're unable to find him through the usual channels. So what now? Well, we will find him eventually, but I just thought that you should know. Thank you, Detective. Jason, hi. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, of course. After what I've heard, I mean, how could I not? This just seems like a very similar situation of what happened between him and the last girl. Who's that? Mercedes, the girl he was obsessed with. Do you know her last name? No, I don't. I remember her name because it kind of stuck with me. It's catchy, and he had pictures of her around his room. So you never saw her in person? No, he said they weren't together, which I thought was kind of weird, but I don't know, I didn't want to pry. Hmm. So you had no idea he was doing any of this? What, using my photo, using my profile as his own? No, I would have stopped that immediately. When was the last time you saw Chris? Wow, it's been over a month. I mean, that's what I told the police yesterday when they woke me up at literally the crack of dawn. How well did you really know him? Uh, apparently not that well. I had just broken up with my live-in girlfriend and I was going through a lot. It was really tough for me and I just, Wanted somebody to move in, not really to split costs, but just just for company, to be honest. So he saw your posting? Yeah, and he responded, and I probably should have vetted him better, but he just seemed like a normal, nice guy. Until? 
until he wasn't. I mean, I caught him a few times on my computer when I came home. He said his had frozen and he just needed to fire off a few emails. Did you believe him? I guess not really, but it didn't seem like something to get too worked up about considering all my financial information is password protected. Also, sometimes when I came home, I would get this feeling that he had been in my room, had been going through my stuff. It wasn't crazy, but it definitely was enough for me to want him gone. So did you ask him to leave? I didn't have to. I came home one day, he was gone, his stuff was gone. I tried calling his cell phone, it had been disconnected. Wow. So did you contact the authorities? What for? I mean, he didn't really do anything illegal, he didn't steal anything. I mean, yeah, technically he broke his lease early, but I wanted him gone anyways. You mentioned you had something you wanted to show me? Oh, yes. Um, this is a bill that came from his psychiatrist. Um, I know, I shouldn't have opened it, sorry. But I was curious, I didn't know what to do with it anyways. Apparently, Chris has not paid his psychiatrist in quite a while. Maybe you can get in touch with her, see if she knows anything. I don't know if she's allowed to tell you anything. Why are you being so helpful? My ex, before we started dating, she had a stalker. And she told me a little bit about it. No woman should ever have to put up with that. So if you need anything at all, just let me know, okay? Thank you. Ed wants to see you. I'll get right to the point, Alice. When we made you partner, we expected you to be in for the long haul. Of course. That's what I expected, too. Then why the sudden change? I'm not sure I understand. I have it on good authority that you've been talking to other law firms looking to leverage your position here for a higher paying job at a larger firm. Is there any truth to this? Well, Ed, that couldn't be further from the truth. I love working here. If I didn't, I would have left a long time ago. I'm so glad to hear that. Who were you just meeting with then? That's what I'm talking about. If I can't trust you to be totally honest. Where is this coming from? It's Chris, isn't it? You've been talking to Chris. Where it came from isn't important. What's important is if it is in fact true. Of course it isn't true. And let me tell you something about Chris Williams. I'm listening. That man is unstable. He's manipulative. He's a liar. He... Ed, he was never my boyfriend. Mm. He's just some guy who became obsessed with me, who tried to deceive you. I can't come between you two. You need to work out your problems on your own. I just need to know one thing, and I need to know this. If you are indeed committed to the job, of course I am. As committed as I've ever been. Alice Miles? Mercedes? Thank you so much for meeting with me. You have such a pretty name. If it weren't so unique, I probably wouldn't have been able to find you online. My father was really into cars. This is my boyfriend, Jake. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Look, 
I wasn't even gonna return your call, much less come, but Jake, he convinced me that it was the right thing to do. I understand, and I don't blame you. So that, I don't, I don't even know what to call him. He's been harassing you too? Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so. And you two met online? Well, I met his fake profile online. It was a new app called Be My Valentine. That's what happened to me too, except it was, it was a different app. He seemed to be so perfect. He was smart and respectful, good looking. I didn't even agree to meet up with him right away, you know? I, I'm, I'm trying to be safe. The truth is, is meeting someone online any more dangerous than getting picked up at a bar or a nightclub? So he used a deep fake with you too. Although I didn't know it was called that at the time. After this all happened, after we met, Mercedes and I sat down with a guy from my office, someone who works in IT. He explained how it's all done. You know, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to pull it off. So, did you go out with him? I mean, after you found out that it wasn't really him. Are you out of your mind? But he kept calling you. Not just calling me, he was stalking me, following me. He broke into my house the day that Jake and I met. Although, in some sick way, I kind of owe him. If it wasn't for him, Jake and I wouldn't be together. And this is the best relationship I've ever had. Mercedes, the police can't seem to track him down. Do you have any idea where he might be? I have no idea where he is or even who he is. Ready to go? Oh, one more thing. His former roommate, the man whose identity he stole, he mentioned that Chris had been seeing a psychiatrist. Do you know anything about this? Nothing. Although I can tell you one thing. If there's anyone who ever needed one, it was Chris Williams. So, why don't we begin by you telling me why you are here, Alice? Well, Doctor, I'm afraid I'm here under false pretenses. It's about a patient of yours, Chris Williams. I'm sure you understand. I can't discuss another patient with you. I understand all too well, Doctor. I also know that if a patient is in imminent danger to himself or to others, that you're obligated to report it to the authorities. What are you, a lawyer? Yes. Who are you? My name is Alice Miles. That much was the truth. Chris has been harassing me relentlessly. And I've gone to the police, but they can't even find him to deliver the restraining order. I was hoping you could tell me where he might be. I'm sorry. I haven't seen Chris for months. Is there any way that you could get in touch with him? I've tried, not just to see how he's doing, but also to collect payment. He's been delinquent for months. He hasn't returned any of my calls. He hasn't answered any of my correspondence. What's wrong with him? Alice, I am not allowed to divulge any information about my patients. Dr. Taylor, please. This man is stalking me. I need your help. Well, if you were my patient... Oh, for goodness sake. If you were my patient, I could tell you what you were suffering from. Uh, oh. Uh, well, thank you, doctor. I'm glad that you were able to see me today. Of course. Have, have you ever heard of imposter syndrome? No. Well, if you were suffering from it, you would be under the delusion that nothing you could do would be good enough. My 
So, self-doubt? It goes deeper than that, and it's way more insidious. You see, these are accomplished people. You could be very intelligent, you could be brilliant, in fact, but deep down you still, you feel like a fraud. And in some cases, you might even resort to assuming different identities. Of whom? Of anyone. I mean, usually it's somebody that appeals to you, somebody that might be smarter or better looking or more successful. Are they, uh, could I become dangerous? Well, it, it depends on the person. I mean, imposter syndrome it isn't in and of itself predictive of antisocial behavior. And in my case? In your case. I think you did the right thing by going to the authorities. Thank you, doctor. Of course. Alice, be careful. Hello, Chris. It's Dr. Taylor. I hope you're doing well. I, I, I really do. Um, I have been trying to get in touch with you. It's imperative that we speak. Can you please, please call me as soon as you can? to see me considering all the times you're trying to contact me i um i am i just didn't expect to see you here now well i would have made an appointment but time is of the essence tick -tock, tick -tock. well i i had another appointment i know i canceled it for you so what are you doing here chris It was like old times, huh? Uh, there's a lot of people that are worried about you, Chris. Why do you keep saying my name? Hmm? Is that some kind of psychiatrist trick? No, it's not a trick. Well, I assume you're referring to one lovely young lawyer. Right? Well, it's okay. You don't have to say anything. I know she was just here. Are you following her? My relationships are no longer any of your business. You're my patient, so I am concerned about you. Concerned about me, huh? What did you say to Alice Miles? Nothing. You, you know that I'm not allowed to say anything. <laughs> you know what, doctor? I don't believe you. I am telling you the, the truth, Chris. Hmm. The truth. <laughs> the truth.
But his own doctor was afraid of him. She literally told me that the police should be involved. I understand, and I'm sure this doctor has your best interests at heart, but I told you, we're unable to find him. Unfortunately, there's no law that says a person must submit to service of an order. That's just ridiculous. Look, he hasn't tried to contact you recently, has he? No. Well, then remember what I said. Now, if he thinks you're serious about legal action, he... Excuse me. Uh, Detective Graham. Uh-huh. I see. I'll be right there. What is it? Chris Williams just paid his doctor a visit. It was him. It was Chris Williams. How can you be sure? Security had already pulled the car to the security camera. Uh, person oh in the video matched Chris Williams' driver's license photo. Oh, my God. Oh, bastard didn't even try to cover his face. I told you, he is insane. So he followed me here. Which means he could be anywhere. Don't worry, I... don't worry. I can assign more officers in the case now. You'll have somebody in front of your home, in front of your office, 24-7. Thank you so much. You have any idea where you might have gone? How would I know? I... Something you might have mentioned? You know, another job? Another residence? Everything he told me was a lie. I understand. Detective Graham... How was she killed? She was strangled. I don't understand why you don't just come stay with me. Because I refuse to live like that. And besides, there's a detective right outside watching the house. I'll be fine. Come on. We'll eat ice cream, watch bad TV. I have to admit, that does sound appealing. See? I'll be all right, Janie. Really. You gonna talk to Ed tomorrow? I have to. I mean, I can't have Chris contacting him trying to ruin my reputation. Besides, he has a right to know what's going on. It's a smart thing to do. Yeah, smart. But it's embarrassing. Why? Because you think the firm wants our newest partner involved in something like this? It's not your fault. You're not responsible for some nut job who's off his rocker. Talk about victim blaming. Yeah, rationally, I do know that. But still, it's... I'll come talk to Ed with you if you want. Hang on a second. I'm getting another call. Let me get this. I think it might be the police. Call me back. Okay. Alice Miles. Hi, Alice. The police are here. Oh, I know, I know, I can see them. What do you want? I want you, silly. <laughs> but you know that by now. Why did you kill Dr. Taylor? <laughs> Alice, are you trying to get me to incriminate myself? You were on camera. I was on camera visiting my psychiatrist. Nothing more. I'm going to get the detective. Well, tell them not, not to bother tracing the call. It's a burner phone, so once I hang up with you, I'll lose it. We can't hide forever, Chris. Police know everything about you now. Well, if that were true, I'd be in a cell right now, wouldn't I? <sighs> it's him. It's Chris Williams. Keep him on the phone. We've got him on the phone. Copy that. <sighs> Maybe we should get together. <laughs> nice trials. Goodbye. Damn. Can you trace the call? 
It's not as easy as you see in the movies. Even if the restraining order was delivered, we'd still need a judge to sign up on a new warrant. Even though he's now been accused of murder. Even if we did manage to trace it, more than likely it would not be much help. I'm sure he did what he said he'd do to toss the phone. Well, what do you expect me to do now? Same as before, there'll be a detective outside your home, outside your office. Nothing has changed. But he was here. He was watching me. You don't know that? He knew that there was a police car outside of my house. An educated guess, even if he, he does know about police procedure. Not even a guess. No. He's close. I can feel him. Alice, you're just on edge, that's all. I need to get away from here. Where would you go? I don't know. Uh, maybe my parents? They live like a half hour from here. Alice, Alice, I don't think that's a good idea. You'd be out of our jurisdiction. I know it's safer if you stay here. Yeah, but I'll feel safer there. Well, I can't force you to do anything, Alice, but think about it. Please. Okay. I will. Thank you, Detective. Hi, honey. You feeling better? Can you come tonight? Hi, Mom. I'm okay. I actually have a favor to ask you. Oh, sure. I was wondering if I could stay with you. Maybe even for a few days. Well, that's hardly a favor. Is everything all right? Don't worry. I'll explain when I get there. Great. Well, I'm going to have a surprise for you, too. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Love you. Bye. All right. Love you. Hello. Hi, Mom. <laughs> mm. Sweetheart. Dad. <laughs> Hi, Alice. He made us promise not to say anything. Surprise! Do anything stupid, I'll kill them both. So, Alice, we found out we know why you were feeling a little bit off yesterday. Chris told us all about it. Oh, he did? He sure did. I don't know why you're so worried about telling us. How old-fashioned do you think your parents are, sweetheart? Yeah, we're thrilled that you guys are moving in together. You're happy, we're happy. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm happy. <laughs> I made your dad promise to uh, christen our new grill. Yeah, Chris told us. We bought the Spartan 400. Honey, that is a quality barbecue grill. How about a drink? I'm fine, honey. Uh, Dad? I'm good for now, sweetheart. Oh. I'll make you a fresh one. Chris, tell us how, uh, how you found this, this new place that you love. Oh, well, we, we, we got really lucky. Um, I have a friend who's a realtor, and he knew what we were looking for. And when this place came on the market, he got us in to take a look at it, and... <laughs> there you go. When you guys get settled in, you're gonna have to let me buy you an enormous housewarming present. Susan, that is so sweet. It's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Of course. Are you kidding? And honey, what are you going to do uh, with your house? You're going to sell it, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Alice, sit down. Do you like baseball? Hmm? I said, do you like baseball? Yeah, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Big fan. <laughs> Because I love baseball. Well, we should catch a game sometime, huh? <laughs> All right, now stand up, you son of a bitch. Put your hands over your head. Bill, that's not funny. No, it's not. <laughs> Careful, Bill. What is happening, Alice? It's OK, Mom. Dad knows exactly what he's doing. Why don't you go ahead and put that bat down, Bill? We both know you're not going to hit me with it. You want to find out? 
Did he hurt you, sweetheart? No, no, not me. But he did kill someone, and the police are looking for him. I know that she's your daughter, but you both can tell that she's not well right now. Shut up. Susan, call the police. Susan! Hello? Uh, we have an emergency at our home. Um, we need the police here now. We have an intruder in our house. Yes, hurry, hurry. They're coming, they're coming. So now we just wait for the police. What is happening? All right. Thank you so much. Oh my God. What is going on, Alice? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay now. Okay, the police are coming, right? They're coming. I should have known something was up when he didn't have a car. <laughs> Did you ask him where it was? Yeah, he said that he had parked it down the street. He had accidentally gone to the wrong house. Why didn't you tell us anything about this when it was happening? I didn't want to worry you, Dad. And I thought I had handled it. You couldn't have done anything anyway. Well, we really want you to stay here till they find him. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm thinking I should stay at Janie's now that he knows where I'm at. I do still need to go to work, and she does live closer. Don't worry, I'll be safe there, too. Okay, so I spoke to Detective Graham, and she filled me in on everything. Is she coming out here? We'll be coordinating with her. But don't worry, we'll pick him up soon. He's never going to give up. He's already contacted everyone that I know. That might be a good thing. You told me that your parents thought you two were dating, and now the truth is out there. He's not going to be able to surprise anyone. And once anyone recognizes him, they know to call the police. I just don't understand. Why me? I may be new to this, Miss Miles. But one thing I've already learned is it's a fool's hand to try to understand a psychopath. <laughs> hey, Janie, it's me. Just now leaving my parents. Just absolute craziness. I'll tell you about it when I get there. Don't appreciate being stood up. You lied to me. You stalk me, follow me. Do anything stupid, I'll kill him, bother.
Welcome, Alice. Did you have a nice nap? Janie! Stay away from me. All I ever wanted to do was get close to you. That's the mistake all those cops made, that I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to be near you. I'll do whatever you want. Okay, just please, please don't hurt Janie. Janie? No. Oh. Don't worry. I didn't hurt her. Gave her quite a scare, that's for sure, huh? As long as you don't try anything, she'll be perfectly fine. Chris, I don't understand. Why me? Why? Why you? <laughs> Why not you? Why are you selling yourself so short? You have so many wonderful qualities. But you don't even know me. From the very first time that we met, it, it, was, it wasn't even real. I just... I wanted a date for Valentine's Day. Chris, listen to me, okay? If you let Janie go, I promise you, I'll get you the help that you need. Well, you see, Dr. Taylor, she's a little busy for the foreseeable future. No, Dr. Taylor didn't understand you. Me too. No, you don't. Nobody understands me. Yes, I do. I'll, I'll prove it to you, okay? I'll leave with you. Yeah. We'll go together. I don't believe you. Janie, okay, please. <laughs> Get far. I have officers combing the neighborhood. Are you okay? Fine. Now, it's finally over. For both of us. Yeah. Chris Williams. Or whatever he wants to call himself. He won't be able to hurt anyone ever again. I'm late. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my god, thank you. You don't look like your profile. Hello, Dr. Vachan Kupshundra, act a sheep animal drawing. A sheep animal drawing type of key of a corbin. Quite a wrong like me, Kotoshoma like me. I'm not just a poor way, Ruthie. I'm not the Kapuru Puri, the Kidar Journal. I will show you a Viruta, Monojo Shakari. आपने बहुत तेज़ी देखी नहीं बन।